Happy Monday, everybody! Claire Fifield coming to you live from Arizona. Will you guys get on, say hi, let me know where you are coming from in the world, what state you're in. All the fun things, right? A couple people jumping on. Okay, so today we're going to chat about multiple streams of income, MSIs, right? And then I'm also going to share something with you that I actually had somebody ask me the other day. And it's not something that I have really thought about per se. And that question was, and I'm going to answer it then, but that question was, how did I gain such a large network in such a short time? For those of you that don't know, yay, Scottsdale. Always love Scottsdale, right? Um, for those of you that don't know, I had to start over like three years ago or so, back in 2017-ish, right? And completely from scratch and those of you that have been an entrepreneur or whatnot uh, know, or maybe you're just accustomed to a certain lifestyle, know that your network is your net worth. So you have to make new connections maybe, re-network, all that fun stuff, right? So talk about that after. But for the multiple streams of income, so there's another uh, girlfriend of mine Janice, and she was on earlier talking about multiple streams of income, but this is something, so if you're not in Arizona, let me know if your state is open or not, because I know a lot of friends of mine, like their economy is shutting back down, or they're shut back down. I was on TikTok Live today, and there is someone, and they do commercial real estate, and they said that there are a lot of um, like restaurant commercial real estates <laughs> it's happening, opening up because a lot of restaurants aren't making it, right? So me being a businesswoman, that tells me like the restaurants aren't making it, right? A lot of those things, it's kind of, unless you've integrated some sort of a store um, or like grocery shopping concept in with your restaurant, you they didn't make it, right? The other thing is, and I talked about this in a different live, was that usually when things change or there's some sort of drastic shift, it usually takes people four to five years to either uh, come, come accustomed to that or go back to what they were used to. So a lot of us, you know, have become accustomed, maybe you already had a job and the job took you where you're working remotely, so now you're working from home. You've probably become accustomed to working your PJs or just like, you know, casual stuff, not doing your hair. Hey, um, that's all done? Yeah, where's Anthony? Oh, I don't know. I'm on my live though. He's probably outside. All right, he's cleaning the bathroom for me. Um, you know, you probably got accustomed to being at home or maybe having a little bit um, more time during your day, being able to eat whatever you want, you know, not having to run for what? Maybe some tequila. No, there's no tequila. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe you went for happy hour during the middle of the day and had some tequila. Who knows, right? Um, but you probably got accustomed to the, those kind of things. So the other thing is... Tequila. That's not tequila. Okay, it's Martinelli's. All right. Yummy. <laughs> Baby, that's Martinelli's. That's apple cider. It's good though. I know. Okay. Tequila. Okay. <laughs> what is tequila? What? I put in the comments if you love Martinelli's. I grew up on Martinelli's. And so we would always like pretend like we'd always just cheers for, I think we always had it at like Christmas and New Year's and stuff. It was so yummy. What I was saying was, um, it's coming the end of the year. So companies, if you, if they're in states or anything like that, where they're having to do shutdowns or, you know, people are assessing their fourth quarter and where they need to 
lean out or cut the fat or anything like that. What that means for you if you are a W-2 employee is your job is at risk, right? They're not going to stop feeding themselves as a business owner. They're going to cut the people at the very bottom. Usually the people at the bottom are gonna be the middle class, um, more like the working class, right? So it would be on your best interest to start creating other streams of income now. There's tons of things you can do online. There's affiliate marketing, you know, Amazon, there's, you know, workout companies, there's this, there's that. I mean, you can do a Google search and there's literally tons of programs to be an affiliate for. I mean, I'm an affiliate for a few companies. Um, what is, else is there? There's, you know, crypto, you can be an affiliate there and just earn money off referral fees. There's so many different things. There's so many online businesses. And so if you don't follow me over on TikTok, I did a little video that broke down what the average cost to launch an online franchise is. So we did um, an assessment of the highest numbers of that and then we did an assessment of the lowest numbers. So what are you doing? You're going outside, okay. So. The thing is, is there's not a lot of opportunities where you can launch an online franchise for, we'll just say, $1,000 or less. I have access to an opportunity like that. So if you are wanting to get some more information, reach out to me. I'll drop the little thing below too, because I'm about to get on there. It's going to be in 50 minutes. So I'm gonna jump on there. But if you are looking to do that, maybe you already have a blog or you have some sort of other boutique business like that and you wanna add in an extra product, these products for this specific opportunity would work great with that. The other thing is going back to what I was talking about at the beginning. So the biggest way that I was able to grow my network in such a short amount of time and make new connections was, I showed up to everything. Everything somebody invited me for, I showed up. Like that's the biggest part of life is taking action and showing up. If you never show up for stuff, how are you gonna meet new people? How are you gonna know what the options are out there? How are you gonna decide what's best for you, right? So whether you jump on the, the Zoom that's coming up tonight or not, that would be a good personal challenge for you to do for yourself is do an assessment, just like businesses do. Figure out if you're happy, figure out if you're not, figure out what you like to do and start building your extra streams of income. Because if you're a W-2 employee, you're kind of um, replaceable, right? All right, guys, I will chat with you soon because I have to jump on another call. I'll, I'll drop the little flyer below. If you need help getting on Zoom, message me. And I will chat with you all soon. Bye.